I mean Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to Red Men TV on a night that saw Liverpool lose by three goals to one against Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. Disappointment is the word of the night. Liverpool, predominantly the better side in the first half, gave it away after a slip from Moreno. Um, <laughs> there's people watching me in the room, this is the third time we've had to record this. So you'll excuse me while I plaster on a fake smile and plough through this shit one more time. Um, yeah, look, massively disappointing. I think we really wanted to see Liverpool go there and at least come away with the point, but the fact that we after we in the second half it looked a little bit like we capitulated I just didn't see we didn't seem to have a have a coherent game plan on, on show there and we know so much of Liverpool's strengths last season are based around just the fluidity of our attack and play and it, it's not quite there just yet and that's why I, when I looked at the fixtures in, in pre-season when they came out it, it looked like the start of Liverpool's campaign was going to be more tricky than I think one or two had creditors, creditors with because Look at us under Brendan Rodgers. We always take half a season to get going. The beauty of last season was that we were we were chaining that bit. We were getting one nils. We were getting across the line, picking up points here and there. Uh, you know, in every every way we possibly could. You don't really want to have to come. You want to come up against Man City's and the and the Chelsea's and that of this world when you're at full strength, when you're at full power, when everything's clicking. And it's, I mean, I suppose there could be a case made that Manchester City, it's early in the season for them too. Um, and really, we haven't got the same arguments in place that they've spent loads and loads of money because we've spent loads and loads of money. But I think that what we needed to do today was we needed that flash of brilliance, that flash of inspiration. And I think when it comes down to players like Coutinho, he didn't have a great game for me. I think Sterling tried his best, but again, not his best performance. Sturridge, similarly, we saw the flash of brilliance from him you know, that leads to Liverpool's goal, which is great, but we needed to see more consistently that from him but what's encouraging from it is when you see Markovic come off the bench you know there's a player we've bought to have that kind of impact and you know he had that impact and we want to see more of that from him uh, Moreno albeit he gave away the you know the, arguably the most important goal of the game his all round player of the 90 minutes I thought was absolutely fantastic his commitment his work rate the fact that he stayed on the pitch when he got injured which you know some, some other full backs at the club could probably take note from uh, and I did mention this on Chris's Chris's interview post-match as well that if Glenn Johnson's fifth for Spurs pff, riot everybody everybody riots because it's ridiculous you know the fact that you know I, I, if he's badly injured fair play we don't know at this point in time but the fact that you know he goes down he gets injured and it's this and I you just want to say no the fucking manager will tell you lad He'll tell you when he's shoving you off. He'll get an analysis. The physio is the one to do this. You, <laughs> you do not do this, Glenn Johnson. But I'll, again, I'll take it back. If it turns out that he's really injured himself, you know, sort of fair play, and I would never wish injury upon a Liverpool player in any way, shape or form. doesn't matter how poor he's been for how long he's been that poor, and it's been a while. Um, you don't want to, you can't, you, you're stupid if you wish injuries upon Liverpool players, basically. And I know some people will, but just, you shouldn't. Um, but I think that you know there are definite positives on on an individual level, some performances here and there. But I think generally speaking, Liverpool need to kick on a lot more. I want to see Liverpool. We just want to see Liverpool get back to their attacking glorious best. And I think at this stage of the season, that might be a little bit of an unrealistic expectation. But there certainly are flashes that that could happen. Anyway, let's have a quick glance over at Twitter and see what's going on over there. Uh, Matthew uh, Will E. Um, yeah, yeah, he's put a one in his name. That's. It's an only big tap at this time, and I uh, just too shaky at the back tonight. Got to give it time though. But a lot of positive. Miss Suarez tonight. Yeah, and I miss Suarez just in general, not because he would have played in any way, shape, or form in that game. Because hello, suspended. Uh, and I think I've seen a lot of that, and it is frustrating. It is disappointing and when Liverpool aren't winning. You do think back to the oh Suarez, oh Suarez, and his, and his wonderful nutmegs. Um, but he doesn't play for us anymore. And even if he did play for us, he's fucking suspended. So anyway, calm down. Um, at J N Hughes, nineteen ninety six. Very impressed with the new boys. Moreno looks great. Um, can put the mistake down to a lack of experience. Yep. Um, Magic Johnson, he's having minion. He doesn't fill me with confidence. Petter Cech could be up for grabs. I like Mignolet and I've said it many times on this show so I, I, I don't think he's done anything there which would make me feel less confident as number one. Petr Cech as a backup goalkeeper he's much better than Brad Jones. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> let me know thoughts on that. Petr Cech deadline day move for Petr Cech. Never going to happen thoughts on it in the comments uh, below please. Um, yeah. Anyway let's have one last comment then. Uh, oh, fucking hell now I'm not reading that one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. 
Uh, uh, Michael Mitchell not happy tough lot but most teams will come away with zero points at Man City and it's so early in the season that's it's almost turned down to a positive well done anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section of any of that below don't forget to click <laughs> it's done so well don't forget to click the subscribe button in the corner of the screen uh, and if you want to watch this game analysing far greater detail and without me uh, go to the redmentv.com this week Chris Page is going to be leaving the show in, 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 his, in his usual Exciting, exciting <laughs> talk first, think, think second matter. Uh, so, uh, I thank everyone who enjoyed Redmen Freeview Week this week. Uh, it's not Redmen Freeview Week anymore, as the name sort of suggests. Um, so, if you want to see more of those full length shows, go to redmentv.com. It is free for the first month, and then it's just £2 a month after that. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Keep your chin up, Reds. We'll see you in the week. Ta -ra. Mario Balotelli, the mad bastard, has signed for Liverpool Football Club in a deal of only 16 million quid.